Like many churches, the beginnings of Elmira Baptist Church are a little obscure. Old documents only tell so much about a church. And a church is not a building or an organization. A church is a group of people. All too often, when that group of people has passed on, the story of those people is lost to the mists of time. Even if the start of Elmira Baptist Church is a little obscure, we know that we stand on the shoulders of giants. Without the foresight to purchase this property, where would we put the new building? Without the energy to build the original building using bits and pieces of an old barracks, where would we meet today? Most importantly, without the decades of faithfully training Christians, who would be the core of Elmira Baptist Church? Our church, Elmira Baptist Church, got its start with a revival that broke out in the mid-50s. The children in Elmira had always gone to church, most of them without their parents. Then, suddenly, in a great movement of the Holy Spirit, the adults began to be saved. Within a few years, entire families were attending church together. The Yos, the Boykins, and the Cantrells. Ira Cantrell was the father whose two sons were Orville and Buford. Orville was saved before Buford, and his four children, John, Patricia, Margie, and Joy, were the nucleus of the church's initial youth group. Along with their cousin Larry, they were enthusiastic members of the new church. Seeing what God was doing in the community of Elmira, some men came from Vacaville to organize the church, baptize the new believers, and find a building where they could meet. First, they met in a barn on Barron's Road, north of Elmira. Then they met in a rented building down the street from the current location. Finally, some far-sighted families purchased the property where the church sits now. The father and son's team of Ira and Orville and Buford, assisted by other men of the church, used lumber that they obtained from deconstructing a building on Travis Air Force Base to build the current building where we meet today. The original church was much different than the building we occupy today. For the first few years of the church, a wood stove heated the building in winter. It sat at the back of the church. After a long service, the people in the front would be shivering and everyone would come to the back and gather around the stove, basking in its warmth and chatting with each other. Wood floors and old theater seats rounded out the experience. For the first few decades of the church, pastors came and went they were trying times. Most of the pastors worked a second job and some a third job to supplement the meager salary that the church could provide. The list of pastors includes Pastor Andrews, Pastor May, Pastor Harris, Pastor Sneathan, Pastor Roberts, Pastor Minyard, Pastor Carey, Pastor Dieter, Pastor McClanahan, Pastor Diebler, Pastor Carfrey, and Pastor Grocott. This church was not founded on a single dynamic personality. It was founded on the Holy Spirit convicting people, saving entire families, and then laying it on their hearts to make their church a part of their community. In 1986, Pastor Jerry Harder came with his wife and four boys to Vacaville and to Elmira Baptist Church. Pastor Harder faithfully served as our pastor for 32 years. Soon after his arrival, the church was humming with activities, old-fashioned days, camping trips, and work days. Trees were planted. The parking lot was paved. Pastor Harder always had a vision to improve the property and to edify the church. In 2008, the ministry building was brought to the property and added to the campus. Still, even with the new ministry room, more space was needed. About 10 years ago, Pastor Harder asked the men of Elmira Baptist Church to consider what could be done to provide even more room on the property for a growing church. The church decided to build a building larger than all the other buildings combined 
and to build it by faith, as God brought the money in. Now at the church's 65th anniversary, we recognize all the work and sweat and tears that came before us. They were the ones who sacrificed so that we could have what we have today. This year, it is our turn to sacrifice to lay the foundation for the next 65 years of the church or until Jesus comes. Mm -hmm.